Well, about to fly to Texas to go chase some Southwest Texas Audad. Here we come. Usually it's actually one of my favorite hunts um, because it's spot and stock with a bow, which is fun, but they're tough animals. So we've had, last year I wounded one, the year before I hit one, had to chase him around, finish him with a gun. So looking forward to sealing the deal appropriately this year. Safely arrived at camp, scurried out here and got dressed and I'm gonna fling a few arrows, make sure that uh, we had no damage or nothing shift around on the flight and we should be out hunting soon. So it feels good to be back. Remember the key here is the U's and the Rams both have horns. So gotta look at other body features to figure out what's a ram, but Alright, well we just spotted a handful, what you call an anger of Audad. Um, there's a couple shooter rams in the mix, but they were about 800 yards away and the sun's going down in about 30 minutes, so uh, they'll probably be right in that area in the morning, so unless someone walks right in front of the truck, I think we're gonna probably call it a night and uh, come check this canyon out first thing in the morning. Well, it's the first full day here on the ranch. Kyle came in last night, so we're split up into two groups this morning. So a bunch of sheep last night, Carson made one quick stock. And already this morning we see a, a young ram right behind here. I'm getting yelled at to go. So we're splitting into two groups. Try to find these things moving their way back up the hillside, following this uh, the sun line as it creeps up on these hills, trying to find them as they should stick up. So let's go. Cool. top of the hill opposite y'all probably where you're looking across at because we saw two and we came after them and they went to the top
Good shit, that one. That one's huge. our second full day here in Texas. We're gonna stay together this morning. We saw a lot of sheep yesterday, a lot of sheep. But uh, had a few close encounters, but no arrows or fog. We're gonna stay together a little bit this morning. We're hoping the wind picks up a little bit so we get a little bit of cover. When it's dead calm like this, these things can hear all these rocks moving around. So hopefully we find something this morning. Wind will pick up and we can make a stock and get an arrow off, but Beautiful morning. Well, we have located a whole bunch of sheep. Problem is they're in some very thick vegetation. And there are a lot of them. So any, any final thoughts? Yeah, there's a lot more than it looks. Oh, yeah, that'll be easy to get close. That one, I think, that one. Yeah, he was running that little one over. That one could go. Get to this ridge here. About 30 minutes. Get to that ridge and I'll tell you where they're at. I'll do my part. Shake and bang. sheep that Kowai and Daryl were on yesterday so we actually got them marked on our map we're going to the exact same point that uh, we were probably 100 yards away yesterday they're just kind of moseying around going up going down going left going right so Zach and Kyle have eyes on them over there on the other side of the hill and we're just going to kind of hold and see if they'll walk our way or if they go up, we'll go up. If they go down, we'll move down. So the hope is they just walk right in front of us here. But we're just kind of in a holding pattern. So hopefully we don't screw this up. Talk to me. He's making one of those wallow things like right in the road. to go at it, I think. Don't you? Yeah. We're just looking for the road right now. There he is right there. He's still on the road. effort and up and back down and then spotters started down and went back up and then they ended up up top when we were on the ground when we made our final push. It's very challenging. We're like air traffic controllers here telling people what to do. There's Carson Cole on the road exactly where that one was bedded. And there was a nice ram laying in the middle of the road. Zach said over the walkie there was other rams and use on the road, but there's ones in the woods that busted us before we could even get anywhere worth taking a shot. Well, for 
sure Carson got shut out. Carson and Cole are leaving tonight. So it's just uh, just Kyle and I left to uh, get it done tomorrow. So it's a two-man show from here on out. Oh, yeah. I accept that. Got my gluten-free banana pudding for the road. Yeah. Gluten-free biscuits. <laughs> Water. But, yeah. Over the last two years here at Odd yeah. For me. We'll regroup and be back at it next year. Hopefully Zach shoots straight in the morning. Alright, this is it. About five hours of hunting time left. Now we gotta get to the airport. hours left of hunting and I think we found two two sheep here <clears throat> from what I can tell one is a shooter ram it's about 550 yards away now I'd like to get that down to about two to three hundred so let me confirm he's worth our time and maybe we'll make a move here all right he's a shooter for sure Stop. Who sings the song, Another One Bites the Dust? I'm not, not sure, but that's how I feel. Tough hunt. No doubt about it. I think we got spoiled the first couple years getting one with the bow. Definitely not as easy as it looks. And a lot tougher animal than we give them credit for. And, uh, Pretty get close to him. I don't know how he's done with a bow in the past. It's hard. You want to get to 200 yards, it's hard. We'll be back though, I know that.